other industry has evoked the drama, the, the emotions, the nostalgia, the romance of a growing continent the way the North American railroads have. And welcome. I'm Dan Chandler. Join with us for five vignettes of railroading in Canada and the United States. Our Canadian cousins to the north had occasion a few years ago for twin short toots on their train whistles as they launched a new short line railroad, the Goderich Exeter Railroad. Unlike the United States, the Canadians have been stepping much more slowly and gingerly into the tracks of short line railroading. Let's hope that the Goderich Exeter, created from a 45 mile former Canadian National Rail Line from Stratford to Goderich, with the branch to Exeter in Ontario, is a harbinger of things to come. With Stratford being in Canadian Shakespeare country, Railtex, the Texas company which owns the line, has named the railway's three locomotives after Shakespearean characters. There's something about railway locomotives and ships which makes them just seem to go together. The Goderich Exeter Railway interfaces at Goderich, Ontario with the freighters on Lake Huron. The only way for the Goderich Exeter trains to reach the Fifeto salt mine, located right at the end of the pier, is via a mile-long 2.6% grade and sweeping curve down to the waterfront. Portions of the mine are deep under Lake Huron. Abundant whistleblowing is necessary, as all three of the railroad's ex-Canadian Pacific General Motors GP9s growl upgrade from the dock. Long before railway deregulation and short line development started in earnest in the United States, a small handful of resourceful entrepreneurs were buying selected branch lines from the larger railroads and turning them into profitable short line railways. One of the earliest of these rail pioneers was the late Samuel M. Pinsley of Boston, who owned New England and Northwestern railways with extended names that nearly outdistanced their track lengths, such as the Hoosick Tunnel in Wilmington, the Sanford and Eastern, the Saratoga and Schuylerville, the Montpelier and Bear, the Claremont and Concord. A full complement of bright red diesel locomotives, often tiny General Electric 44 and 70 tonners, pulled the short trains over rustic backwoods rail lines. Those were the first generation of Pinsley railroads. Most of them have been abandoned or sold, and Sam Pinsley has died. But his daughter and grandson are carrying on the family tradition with a full complement of second generation railroads with noticeably briefer names. The locomotives still sport the traditional bright red paint scheme, although they're often distinctly larger CF7s and GP7s. In the middle of Florida, a trio of these Pinsley short lines have been born in recent years from the remnants of a number of CSX transportation rail lines. Join us for a look at the Florida Central, the Florida Midland, and the Florida Northern Railroads. It's sunrise at Plymouth, Florida, a short distance west and north of Orlando. Plymouth is the headquarters of all three Pinsley railroads in the Sunshine State. It's also sun up at Wildwood as Florida Midland number 107, an Alco S2 built in 1953, is fired up for the day's run. Listen to the classic chug, chug, chug of the Alco engine. Florida Midland operates three separate lines which do not connect with each other. Here, classic Alco number 107 is being paced at about the midpoint of the 12-mile line connecting Wildwood and Leesburg. For many years, this line was part of the old seaboard airline rail system. The other two-thirds of the Florida Midland Railroad are a seven-mile former Atlantic Coastline branch from Winter Haven to Gordonville 
and 15 miles of track from Westlake, Wales to Frostproof, made up of remnants of both the Atlantic coastline and the seaboard airline. These old railroads were once fierce rivals, often building parallel tracks to counter-check each other's expansion plans. Later, they merged to form the Seaboard Coastline Railroad. Many redundant lines in this spider web of tracks were promptly abandoned or consolidated. 